Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you guys are having a blessed day in the Lord. Praise God. Give him honor. Give him praise. I had to get on the phone. Something's wrong with the computer. Um, it's not letting me get on internet for, um, nothing's wrong with the internet. Internet, it's not letting me get on, What? whatever. I had to set up my phone on top of the computer. Anywho, praise God, praise God. I just wanted to encourage everybody that's on the fast. I pray that you just keep on going. Let me tell you something. It is not going to be easy. That's why I want to, you guys to see my face. You know, let me tell you something. We have to push. We have to push. I have been on liquids all day as well, but I promise you, we keep pushing. We fix up ourselves. We wash our face. We anoint ourselves. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We get in our Bible. We get in our Bible. Hallelujah. And we pray and we pray some more. Come on, somebody. Because let me tell y'all something. In this hour, you're going to have to pray like you ain't never prayed. In this hour, you're going to have to push like you ain't never pushed. In this hour, you're going to have to fast like you ain't never fast. In this hour, you're going to have to do it. Hallelujah. The enemy, God told me this is what the enemy doing. The enemy is pushing fear on purpose. That's why y'all see all this stuff happening all over the world. If he can push fear, what happens? It cancels out your faith because fear is your enemy. I'm going to say that again. Fear is your enemy. I'm going to say that one more time. Fear is your enemy and he knows that. So, but if he can put you in fear, then that means it cancels out your faith. In Hebrews, the first chapter, it says, actually Hebrews 13, it says, Now, therefore, the substance... It's faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Don't you understand what's go- what, what the enemy is doing in this hour? The enemy is trying to um, actually annihilate us from the inside out. But hold, oh, come on, somebody. I am reminded by something. God said that in this last hour. Hold on. Hold on. I got to go to it, you guys. Hold on. In this last hour. Hold on. Just bear with me because I, I really got to... Um, Just one moment, you guys. I want to read that scripture. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Praise God. But I'm telling you something. God is doing something. There it is. Second Timothy. Okay. Second Timothy. And I'm going to have to move this phone a little bit, you guys. I'm going to have to move it because I have to read it. All right. Praise God. It says, Second Timothy. It says, This know also. That in the last days, chapter 3, perilous times shall come. Number 2, for men should be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents. Y'all see that? Unthankful, unholy. Notice what he said, unholy. Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. Y'all wonder why people don't like y'all? Here it is. Despisers of those that are good. Four, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God. Number five, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof for such turn away. For all of these which creep into houses, number six, and lead captive silly women. Silly women. Notice what I'm saying. Most of you, you know, I'm talking to a lot of women. You're getting fooled by these guys these days because you're lonely. Honey, you better, you better claim to God. You better claim to God because guess what? They got some stuff out there that'll take you out. I'm just being real. I don't have time to play with it. That's why husbands are killing wives and vice versa. If that's not your ordained mate, you need to escape. That's just what I said. Hallelujah. You heard what I said. Let me continue. For six, for for all of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts. It starts with lust, you guys. Seven, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. Eight, now as Janice and Jabir withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. Number nine, but they should proceed no further, for their, sh- their folly should be manifest unto all men as theirs also was. So you ain't got to do nothing. This is the year of exposure. This is the time of exposure. Let me continue. Um, 11. Persecutions, afflictions, which come upon me at Antioch and Anicon at Lastra. What persecutions I endured, but out of all of them, the Lord delivered me. Number 12. Yea, and all that will live godly. Y'all need to listen to this. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. You wonder why what's going on? You know what's going on. Hallelujah. Let me continue. 13. But evil men and seducers, seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. We're living in a time where everybody's trying to deceive you. 
You got to be careful. Praise God. 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. 15. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Praise God. 17. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished into all of good works. Praise God. There you have it. Let me tell y'all something, people of God. In this hour, God said, notice what he said. He said, in, in, hold on, I'm trying to fix this. I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, whatever he says that in this last days he says I will pour out my spirit on all flesh let me tell you something the enemy is rising but so is the remnant we rising but here's the deal it will not be easy oh come on somebody most of you are looking for an easy way out your position is to stay prostrate before the Lord in prayer fasting and praying notice what he say but this kind come out but by fasting and prayer Y'all asking for some things to get done. You will have to pray and fast your way out of it. Hallelujah. Praise God. This stuff real. This stuff real. Hallelujah. And I have to say this. Watch who you connect to in this hour. Watch who you connect to. I always say this. And I pray that you listen to this. I always ask when I meet somebody. I don't care who you are. I'm going to ask this question. God, show me their spirit. Who is this before me? Because guess what? This is a lie. The tongue, a lie like a rug. But if you ask God, God, show me their spirit, you get to see their spirit and what they, who they really are. Because, and I'm going here. We had the wholeness class today. I thought I was going to do like separate videos, but I guess this is it. Um, we had the wholeness class today. It was at 3 o'clock. It was powerful. We, it was almost like church. We had church. I'm not kidding. And they were able to ask questions. Most of them was about witchcraft. Y'all think it's a game? We had people from Trinidad. Uh, Amsterdam people they don't mind being in a setting to learn about God but tell me how to defeat these these demons tell me about spiritual warfare that stuff going around in my house around my house come on somebody y'all notice what they doing right hallelujah so it was very powerful if you want to get in on it it is um every Sunday at 3 p.m to 5 p.m we just got off it was powerful I mean I'm <laughs> also I wanted to tell you Next Saturday will be the first church service for New Remnant Ministries, which I will be doing online on Saturdays at 6 o'clock p.m. And that's because I believe Sabbath is Saturday. But I will always come back on Sunday and do it again at 10 o'clock. We're going to be um, on at 10 o'clock as well. So I'm just I'm getting myself in a position to just teach and preach like never before. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't, I believe my mandate. I don't know about everybody else's. My mandate is for the world. So I don't think God just want me in a little building and, oh, that's where you at. I, I believe I'm just supposed to do exactly what I'm doing. Hallelujah. So I'm going to do it with every fiber of my being because I want us all to be blessed. And I'm not talking about just prosperity. Prosperity is just a minute part of it. If you can't fight no demon, if you can't lay hands and heal your family or yourself, then what is all this is about? You can have all the scriptures. You can know how to quote them. You can read your Bible up, down. You can have a master's, a doctorate, all that. If you don't have the power of the Holy Ghost and the presence of God, then you are just wasting your time. Hallelujah. People are hurting. People are hurting. And they want more than just a feel-good message. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I can tickle your fancy all day long. I'm talking about I can preach, honey, and I can teach. But what does it good if I can't reach it in your spirit? To where the power of God is felt. Well, I can teach you. That's what it's about. I want to teach you how 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning when you're going through it and you don't know what to do and you really don't have nobody else to call. Teach you how to pray for yourself. Teach you how to lay hands on yourself. Teach you how to speak in tongues. Those that desire the gift. Because not everybody wants to speak in tongues. Let's be honest. Hallelujah to his name. But it's time to equip the people like never before. That is our mandate from God. We're not supposed to just be fleecing off of the people. Oh, just give me money. I'm not saying we don't need it to, to buy things and to do ministry. But that shouldn't be the objective. The objective is to heal and deliver God's people for real. Because to be honest with you, what God told me, and I'm just going to be honest. There are a process in deliverance. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and test you. How many times were you thought you was delivered from something and you end up doing it and you'd be like, oh, I didn't even know that was inside of me. There are stages to healing and deliverance. You got to walk this thing out daily. I, God, keep me, keep me, because you know me. I, I, okay, let's throw another one. How many times you didn't curse people out and you'd be like, oh, I didn't even know. I, there are processes and stages to healing and deliverance. You have to get to know yourself. You have to have self-control. It's not just about the power of God come up on you and you're going to stop that stuff. No, you have to have self-control. That's why alcoholic keep getting drunk. That's why a person that's addicted to sex keep going after it. It's not that they want to do it. It's, it's why a homosexual keep doing that. It's not that they want to do it. They have no self-control. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And the only reason you don't have self-control is because the Holy Ghost haven't submerged you because there is not a full deliverance. I just said something. You can say what you want to say. Hallelujah. I know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Because you can be saved and not delivered. You can be saved and not healed. You can be saved and not filled. I just said something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People sitting up in churches just as toe up, and I'm just being real. I'm not trying to dog nobody out because we all got problems. Hallelujah. But what good is it if I'm just preaching to you and then you, but you don't know how to go home and apply it. And I'm talking to all you pastors, preachers, teachers that's just doing that to God's people. God going to get you because all you're doing is just patty cake you know, so they can just give you some money. But you're not teaching them how to be sustained at night. You're not teaching them how to pray for their family. You're not teaching them how to minister to their family. You're not teaching them, said the Lord. Hallelujah. We got to teach people. How to do this thing the way God say do it. Not how we do it. Because everybody's going to do it differently. Come on somebody. Because everybody have different anointings. Different appointments. Different callings. Hallelujah. This stuff is real. I'm so tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. The body of Christ should not be this broken down. Hallelujah. Oh, we got famous churches. Oh, we got mega churches. I mean, we got it going all on the outside. But the inside toe up, honey. For real. People are hurting. People are hurting, living double lives. Y'all know it's true. In front of everybody, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. And then cussing your family out, your, your husband out, your, your, y'all know what I'm saying. I like y'all don't know what I'm saying. And the first thing your family tell you, I thought they were saved. I thought they was a Christian. And then you wonder why they're not listening to you. Because what you're doing and what you're saying don't add up. It don't match. And if it don't match, they're not listening to you because now they think you're fake. Hallelujah. Y'all know it's true. Whew, hallelujah. So, um, I just pray we all get it together. How about that? All of us. There is no person that is exempt from the devil messing with us mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally. We all need help. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, when I start the church on next Saturday, what we're going to do is it's going to be like a training center. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have a little music, a little teaching, a little preaching but mostly reaching. I want to show you how to stay safe, stay consistent, be a strong person in God, how to worship, how to pray for real. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. So praise God, praise God. All right, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.